Namaste everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Madhura Bhagavad and today we will be flowing through a quick morning vinyasa flow routine. This will be a minimum Q class, however the postures are not as challenging. So even then, if you wish to modify your practice, feel free to keep your blocks and a strap handy to modify them to suit your needs. And let's begin by coming in tabletop. Keeping shoulder width distance between your palms and hip width distance between your knees. Inhale, gently begin to drop your abdomen to lift your chest and chin, arching into your spine. Exhaling to curl. Inhaling to arch. Deep breath out to curl. One more time. Inhale. Exhaling to curl. Inhale, drawing back to neutral spine, taking your left knee towards the center, straightening out your right, and keep pressing your heel towards the back to feel that stretch in your calf. Inhale, you roll back to center, slowly begin to lift your right leg up. Now, option to just stay as you are and then doing the next movement, or you could lift your left hand towards the front to reach. Now, take a deep inhale. Exhale, curling into your spine, drawing your elbow to your knee. You can always tap it. Inhaling to reach. Exhale to draw it in. Inhaling to reach. Exhale to bring it in. Inhaling to reach. Exhale in. Inhale to reach. Slowly starting to bend into your knee, begin to cactus your hand. Option to stay or see if you can hold on to your right ankle to keep pressing your knee, your heel away from the body. Beautiful. Then inhale slowly, start to release. Placing your palm down, this time you cross your right knee over your left to press back in child's pose. Then slowly starting to walk your palms towards the back. Now, you are ideally supposed to push your sits bones towards the mat to stack one knee on top of the other. However, this might not be pos a possibility for everyone. So you can always sit on a block in this pose or you could use rolled blankets here and then place it under your hip just for that bit of height. From the right hand lifts, left hand under to clasp your fingers. If you're unable to reach, you can either hold onto your t-shirt or you could use a strap in between your palms. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, you reach your right hand on top, releasing your left hand towards the back, drawing your left foot next to your right knee. Exhale, twist your left. Inhaling to turn your gaze forward, exhale, release, gently walking your palms towards the front, again left knee down, lift your right leg up and this time drop your right foot down towards the mat to draw your left knee in towards the chest, turning your left toes onto the side. Inhale, right hand lifts. And then slowly begin to lift onto your knee to gently lean back, Parikhasan gate pose. Inhale, slowly rolling back to center, gently placing your palm down to draw your knee, to draw your right foot up. And this time, taking your right palm down, draw your left toes in. Please be careful of your left knee here. Take a deep inhale, exhaling chest and chin down. Inhale to press, exhaling to lower. 
Inhaling to press one more. Exhale to lower. Inhale to press. Now lift your left knee to press back into your three-legged down dog. And as you exhale, slowly step your right foot forward. Gently drop the back knee, turn the sole out, inhaling to crescent. And then slowly drawing your palms at the heart center, gently twist your right to take your left triceps onto the other side of your right thigh. Now from here, see if you can gently tuck your left toes under to press up twisted lunge. Slowly open your palms wide, gently lift the twist and now you circle your hands to come into warrior two. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale to lean back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Slowly turn your body, placing both your palms onto the mat. And then from here, walk your right foot slightly towards the outside. Drop your left knee down to come into lizard. Prishthasan. This is a perfect practice, especially when you're struggling for time, uh, but yet wish to work with pretty much all muscle groups in the body, as well as your joints in the body, first thing in the morning. Now, inhale, begin to lift up. Drawing your foot towards the center, duck your toes under, exhaling, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you wave forward into a plank, option to lower down knee and chest and chin, or you can transfer your weight forward to lower down in Chaturanga. Option to lift up in Cobra, or you can lift up in upward facing dog, so that you're balancing on your palms and tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you drop your knees down towards the mat to again come onto your force. This time drawing your right knee towards the center, straightening out your left and press your heel towards the back. Inhale, you roll back to center, slowly begin to lift your leg up. Now from here, option to stay, or you start to float your right hand forward. Take a deep breath in to reach. Exhale, elbows to your, elbow to your knee. Inhaling to reach. Exhale in. Inhaling to reach. Exhale in. Inhaling to reach. One more time, exhale. Inhaling to reach up. And now this time, bending into your knee, cactus your hand, holding onto your ankles if you wish to. Shoot your heel away from the body and up. Then slowly release. Right palm lowers, bending into your left. Slowly drop your left knee on the other side of your right thigh. And gently press back. Now again, walking your palms towards the back, stacking one knee on top of the other. This time, left hand goes on top, right hand under to clasp your fingers. Gomukhasan.
Beautiful. Now releasing your left hand on top, right hand towards the back. So you draw your right foot next to your left knee. Your right knee faces up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to your right. Focusing on your inhales and exhales here. Inhale, slowly turning your gaze forward, gently release. Walking your hands forward and again lifting up onto your right knee. Take a deep inhale. And now slowly drop your, take a deep breath in. Exhale, you drop your foot down and then gently turning your right toes towards the side, begin to lift your left hand up. From there, starting to lift up and moving into Parighasan gate pose. Inhaling back to center, slowly placing your palm down, begin to float the leg, gently lower your left palm down, draw your toes in. Just be careful again with your right knee. Now take a deep inhale. As you exhale, you lower down chest and chin. Inhale up two more times, exhale lower. Inhaling up, exhale lower. Inhale, you press up and this time lift your right knee to lift up in three-legged down dog. And as you exhale, gently step your left foot forward so that your left shin is perpendicular to the mat. Drop the back knee, turn the sole out. Inhale, Chandrasan Crescent. Drawing your hand at your heart center, slowly twist towards your left. Now very slowly tucking your right toes under, please be careful of your knee, gently press up, twisted high lunge. Opening your palms wide, inhale, you lift the twist and then gently circle to open into warrior two. Reaching towards the side, you flip back, reverse warrior, taking your right hand towards the left. Exhale, extended side angle. Now slowly circle your palms down towards the mat, drawing your right foot onto your toes. And then gently walk your palms, walk your left foot towards the outside to drop both your palms in and lowering down in lizard prishthasan. Focusing on inhales and exhales. Inhale, slowly begin to walk up and then gently press back down dog. Moving into your vinyasa, inhale to wave forward. Exhale to lower knee, chest, chin or low plank. Inhale to Cobra Up Dog. Exhaling to Down Dog. Slowly drop your knees down to come to Child's Pose.
Inhale, slowly begin to roll yourself up. Drawing your palms at the heart center. Shoulders roll back, chest forward. Being grateful for today's practice, inhaling palms to your forehead, exhale, bow forward. Inhaling to lift. And as you exhale, gently blink your eyes open. Thank you so very much for practicing with me today. If you have enjoyed this practice, leave your comment in the section below, like this video and subscribe to my channel to support my work. Also, you can make these short practices into a complete practice by following the playlist in the description. So you could team it up with say a pranayam technique or a meditation technique. I also have longer vinyasa classes which are of 30, 45 minutes, 60 minutes and even some slightly longer. So make sure to check out the playlists. Thank you.